After the finalization of the three-phase nuclear-powered submarine deal, as part of the AUKUS Trilateral Defense Initiative, another major deal is being confirmed. The U.S. State Department approved a potential $895 million deal to sell up to 200 Tomahawk Block 5 and up to 20 Tomahawk Block 4 all-up rounds AUR, cruise missiles and related equipment to Australia. As evident, the focus is on the Block 5 variant. The prime U.S. contractor will be Raytheon Missiles and Defense. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Block 5 Tomahawk could enable Australia to deter China. Let's get into the details. The State Department announcement reads, the proposed sale will improve Australia's capability to interoperate with U.S. maritime forces and other allied forces, as well as its ability to contribute to missions of mutual interest. By deploying the Tomahawk weapon system, Australia will contribute to global readiness and enhance the capability of U.S. forces operating alongside them globally. Australia will use the enhanced capability as a deterrent to regional threats and to strengthen its homeland defense. In June 2020, in a speech to the Australian Defense Force Academy in Canberra, Scott Morrison, who was then the Prime Minister of Australia, said his country must face the reality that we have moved into a new and less benign strategic area, indirectly citing the Chinese threat. In September 2021, Australian Prime Minister Morrison stated, I am announcing, in addition to the acquisitions announced as part of the 2024 Structure Plan, that we will be enhancing our long-range strike capability, including Tomahawk cruise missiles to be fielded on the Royal Australian Navy Hobart-class destroyers and joint air-to-surface standoff missiles extended range for our Royal Australian Air Force capabilities. The Royal Australian Navy has three Hobart-class destroyers, which it received between 2017 and 2020. Each Hobart destroyer, Hobart, Brisbane, and Sydney, has a length of over 147.2 meters, that's 483 feet, a maximum beam of 18.6 meters, or 61 feet, and a draft of 5.17 meters, or 17 feet. At launch, the ships will have a full load displacement of 6,250 tons. The Hobarts have been designed to allow for upgrades and installation of new equipment, with a theoretical maximum displacement of 7,000 tons. Each ship's main weapon is a 48-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system. The cells are capable of firing the RIM-66 Standard II anti-aircraft missile, or the quad-packed RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow point defense missile. Importantly, the Force 2030 white paper indicated that Hobart's Mark 41 launchers are likely to be capable, either as built or through later modification, of firing the 174 Standard 6 anti-aircraft missile and the Tomahawk cruise missile. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile. Depending on the variant, the missile has a maximum range of 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers, which makes it suitable for long-range precision strikes. Over the years, the missile has seen many upgrades to keep it relevant. The Tomahawk missile, which debuted in Operation Desert Storm, has been fired more than 2,300 times. As of now, Block 5 will have two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike. It has a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead will be geared toward destroying enemy warships. Block 5B features the JMEWS or Joint Multi-Effects Warhead System. The new warhead was first announced in 2010 and tested in 2014. It's a two-stage warhead that combines blast fragmentation and enhanced penetration in one warhead. It's able to destroy a wide variety of targets, soft targets like parked aircraft, 
as well as hardened ones like bunkers. During an August 2010 test, the initial stage of the warhead created a hole large enough in a reinforced bunker for the follow-through element to penetrate the concrete target and pass through two witness plates. JMEWS has seen further improvement, the details of which have been withheld. Block 5 will see major upgrades to the missile's communication and navigation systems. This will make it hard for the enemy to jam the missile with electronic countermeasures. This will mean that more missiles will be able to navigate unhindered to the target and hit them. In 2017, Raytheon's Tomahawk program manager told reporters at an event at the missile plant in Tucson, Arizona, that the navigation system upgrades will ensure the missile can strike targets even if GPS is taken down. The missile has an improved stealth characteristic, though the exact nature of which is classified. Since the missile's external contour remains the same, it's likely that the missile uses RAM or radar absorbing material. Tomahawk, especially the Block 5 variant, is a lethal missile. The missile can be used to strike key Chinese assets like its PLAN warships, command and control centers, and missile launch sites. The action taken by the United States is clearly aimed at providing Australia with the capability to safeguard itself, as well as the interests of the US and its allies, in the face of any possible danger posed by China. China has criticized the United States, along with its allies Australia and Britain, for their efforts to thwart Beijing's aspirations of extending its influence in the Indo-Pacific region. China's foreign ministry spokesperson, Wang Wenbin, when asked about the deal, said, We are aware of relevant reports. Any defense and security cooperation between countries should benefit regional peace and stability, and should not be targeted at third parties or hurt the interests of third parties. The relevant action has worsened regional tensions, severely damaging regional peace and stability with the possibility of triggering a regional arms race. China urges the relevant parties to abandon their outdated Cold War mentality and narrow geopolitical concepts. It remains to be seen how soon Tomahawks arm Australian platforms. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.